All right, here's a big problem that most of us face is that we do a challenge, we track our food, and then after the challenge, we give ourselves a couple days of not tracking. We just want to eat freely. We're going to eyeball everything. And then what ends up happening is that we just completely fall off. And that's okay. It's a repeat process. Uh, you know, when you eat your food, the last thing you want to do is whip your phone out and start tracking your food. And you're probably going to eat out more now. So the thing I would tell you is that we just need to get into a routine. This year, I committed 100% to tracking my food every single day. Now, when times when I'm not in a challenge, then I'll probably record 80 to 95% of the food that I'm eating. There's still probably 20% where I'm not adding, and that's okay. At least you can get the bulk of the things that you're tracking into your system so that you can make sure that you're staying within your goals, okay? It's the things that you don't track are the things that are all adding up. And if you're not tracking at all, then you're so far away from it. So one of the, the tips that I have for myself, is I, ref, I have a checklist, right? So I have a daily checklist and it could be anywhere from like three to five things. I, like I've got a big checklist because I run a business, but on that checklist is my fitness pal. And so it's just an it's just a visual and mental reminder that I gotta get in there and start tracking. And I would start building out the habits. Just make it a part of your habit, right? It's like if you drink a soft drink, what's a habit? You burp, right? So whenever you eat food, either track it before or after. Just make it an, a known association with your brain and your eating connection that you're always tracking the food. And then number three is just being a belly burp. Right? Like it takes time and years to really control your eating habits. And so if you're doing multiple belly burns or multiple challenges, that's okay. Because we need that level of support when it comes to nutrition. Okay. The working out, most of us have already established that we can do the workouts. We can show up five, six days a week. But how about the nutrition? There's the other 23 and a half hours of the day that we're not being supported or that we're that you know we're just kind of on our own when it comes to the food. And so in the belly bird challenge, what do we do? We have daily check-ins, weekly check-ins. We have a big thing at the end, we have a big thing at the beginning. And so when you get focused like that, the more you have, the more months you have of being focused and the more years you put in, eventually this just becomes second nature. So we're not quite there yet. So it's okay to do another belly bird challenge. Get in there, get that accountability, and let's hit those goals, baby.